it's amazing feeling to make the back-to-back -back, uh, in the Euroleague. Uh, I think that uh, this team is one of the best for the Euroleague history uh, because uh, not only two back-to-back, -back, also last four years, uh, top in the in the Euroleague. So same team, same players. Uh, for me, this team uh, is the best team of the new area of the Euroleague history. Very important, the Final Four experience uh, and more maybe uh, to be a last champion experience. Because I remember that in the first Final Four in 2019, we had uh, a lot of emotions and um, we maybe we lost to final because so to play the final for us is almost a big job to big to, to make a, a big result to make a final but in 2021 uh, we played the final for the final just for win and again it was a big emotions for us because especially for me it was uh, my first uh, Euroleague title in my career. But this season, uh, honestly, uh, I was very relaxed before the Final Four, uh, even before the final, because uh, I have this experience, uh, experience to play the final, uh, experience to won the title, and uh, it will be, it was, uh, very comfortable for, for us uh, and for the team also before the, before the game. We have the emotions to play, but uh, we didn't have the emotions uh, to win because we get a lot of confidence uh, that uh, we had this, uh, already had this title and uh, we were ready to repeat. Yes, actually, uh, honestly, uh, the memory uh, immediately come back for me for the regular season when we play in Athens. And uh, in that uh, overtime, uh, I didn't have a timeout. And uh, we used the last ball, we were up one point, we lose the last ball uh, earlier and seven, eight, nine seconds uh, earlier than we made. And uh, we missed the shots, uh, we missed the layup, Micic, and then on the last second, uh, buzzer shot from Sulukas, we lost the game. It was in my memory. And in that time, uh, immediately uh, I take the time out. And uh, the first thing, it was tie game, so we already have overtime in our hands it's very comfortable when you take the last time out and you already have the overtime uh, when the time is over and uh, I asked to Micic to play only last six seconds to play a, a 1-4 a pick and pop uh, with uh, Moerman uh, to push them to make a switch with Vezenko and then read uh, the solutions because I never like to tell the player uh, to shut or to, to penetrate because it depends on the defense. Uh, honestly, he takes a very difficult shot. They made a good defense, so Vezenko even made a good defense. Uh, even his player, uh, Micic player, come uh, to defense. Maybe uh, with the pop to Moerman, it was more open, but Micic take the responsibility uh, to take the shot and uh, of course it was uh, amazing shots because we take the control of the last quarter, but Olympiakos slowly, slowly they came back, they come back and uh, they get the uh, tie game in the last uh, 17, 18 seconds, but uh, we have the chance to use the ball uh, very well. Listen, this is mathematically also uh, 17 seconds for the game, 14 seconds for the shot clock. So if you don't make a turnover and uh, you take the shot on the last uh, two seconds, last one seconds, then uh, 
basket and it's also important to take uh, uh, three-point shots because if you make a two-point shot and you f if you score they have a timeout to for the last uh, three four seconds but if you take a three-point shot and if you score it's four points it's game over if you miss so the ball is on the on the rim on the they have only <coughs> three seconds to left and uh, until they take the rebounds uh, so somebody touched the ball like the only risk is that if the ball uh, touch the rim and go out of the court it this is a uh, this is a risk but uh, I think that uh, also we manage uh, very good this uh, last uh, last ball in the in the final uh, listen this team are playing four years with the same strategy same roster and everybody knows to our system that is our running game, pick and roll system with, uh, okay, Michish, Larkin, they are the key players, but on the other side, we have uh, Krostov, Simon and Rodrik Bebois. So, to play this Final Four without Simon and with the very bad healthy conditions to Rodrik Bebois that he didn't play in the last two, three weeks before the Final Four, uh, it was a big problem for us but uh, in that positions we decide to use Elijah Bryant to replace more the style of the basketball that we use with Krostov Simon and uh, he made a great job he made a great job and we know that we transfer him in the middle of the season because we know his capacity we know that also even before last year in Maccabi he played in, the, in, in this role but uh, when you came in the team that uh, you have in the team, Michish, Larkin, Bebois, Simo. It's not easy to immediately involve of the system, but without these two guys, Elijah Bryant, uh, he found his way to play, and uh, it was uh, very important for us, especially in the semi-final. He was uh, one of the most important players uh, on the team. The previous two Final Four, it was a long time ago, but now this three final four in a row uh, gave me a big experience and uh, now I am uh, very comfortable when uh, I play the final four, the experience and uh, I like to play final four, especially when the time in the regular season is coming, it came to playoff time, uh, I start to think but to play the final four, to be there, to everything that uh, let's push to the team, to yourself, to make one more, and uh, it's happened. Listen, of course, in that period, uh, we watched the Maccabi to Pini Gershon. It was amazing, amazing team with uh, Anthony Parker, so many other players. Uh, but many years passed, I think it was maybe uh, more than uh, 50, 20, how, how many years passed? 20 years maybe from, from that team. So many years, because last time I remember that uh, Olympiakos made back-to-back -back, uh, with two different coach, first with uh, Duda and then with uh, Barzokas. Uh, but now I think that this team, my team, it's, uh, it's different because uh, same players, same coach, same staff, everything same. And uh, four years, uh, not only, I told you, not only to won the title, to make the back-to-back -back these two years. One year before the back-to-back, -back, we lead the uh, EuroLeague. And for me, honestly, it was the best season of this team. It was, it was one of the record 28 games that we played in the regular season uh, before the season stopped. We won 24 games and many games so finished in the first quarter. Different 15 points, 20 points, it's over. In that time, so and one year before the team played the final and this team came 
to the final in 2019 from the last position of the 2018 Anadolu FS was on the last position in the in the Euroleague so these four years I think it's uh, extremely uh, different for the history of the Euroleague basketball okay maybe it's uh, back to back like Maccabi back to back like Olympiakos but my team is uh, is different we play on the top of the level for the last four years in the Euroleague and this is really very uh, difficult this one that you mean <coughs> okay I made this uh, not to make show I made this because uh, this is my icon I like I like to uh, share my <coughs> enjoying with the uh, with the people <coughs> with the people not only in the people in the uh, in the arena all the people that are watching the game in TV because I know that uh, the people that get to enjoy to with uh, our results to our title uh, they like that uh, the coach of the team is uh, is a guy that enjoy every time he's feeling uh, with them and for this uh, so right now I know that uh, I get the big responsibility in the for the Turkish sports and I am very happy that uh, not only our fans but uh, I saw in all uh, not only in Istanbul in all country a big respect uh, for my team and uh, of course uh, for me and it's a big pleasure for me because uh, it's more than the professional it is more than money it's more than everything to get this respect for the people that uh, love to you we will try to win uh, one more time of course so we will be strong uh, next year i hope that we will be stronger also next year this year season in the beginning uh, we had a lot of trouble and we had also this experience now we had also this experience that after the title the first part of the uh, Euroleague this season we have a, we had a big trouble uh, now also we will start this season with this experience it's it's very important for me for the team and uh, we will try to repeat and with all the respect that the other teams that in the history of the basketball they make uh, they won three titles but this Euroleague is different so <laughs> we played 40 games <laughs> before to win the, the title is uh, it's not like the uh, Champions League uh, FIBA Champions League before of, or the Euroleague before that uh, you play 20 games 22 games in a all year this Euroleague it's uh, it's amazing uh, you think that <laughs> so far we will play now the final of the uh, Turkish League so far we already played 80 games 80 official games uh, 40 in the uh, Euroleague 40 in the local competition now three or five more so it's uh, it's really a big effort and to win uh, the title the Euroleague title after this big effort it's uh, it's another thing so this team it's uh, to make these two back-to-back -back title for me it's uh, it's on the pool position of the history of the Euroleague basketball.